What movie do you consider perfect? Terminator 2. It's an absolute masterclass in using action to tell a story and develop character. Modern action movies are often a string of impressive effect shots connected by a thin story, sometimes not even a decent story that makes sense. I think Terminator 2 is so perfect because it came along in a time when technology was improving, but hadn't completely taken over. So it's not completely reliant on fantastical special effects. Even though it's science fiction, the stunts are still very real and grounded in reality. Good hunting. Considering they were also young when Damon and Affleck wrote and acted in the thing, Perfection M.O. It also only cost 10 million to make, total. Half of that was for Robin Williams. But Robin Williams was amazing in it and 5 million was a quarter of his normal fee. I would have made this movie without test too good not to be made. Jurassic Park. Cinematic perfection. Literally can't get any better, in my opinion. The never-ending story. More of a personal opinion than anything. I can have the worst day of my life, and if I put this movie on, my mood will immediately improve. It's just fantastic. The Hangover. I know these movies aren't super well like these days, but I still feel that the original is a fantastic comedy film. Overall, really satisfying to watch as the clues fall into place and things are revealed. I'd give perfect is the best way to describe it, but as far as early in the zombie revival days goes, I'd say 28 days later was pretty solid. As others have mentioned Back to the Future, Pulp Fiction, and Fight Club are legendary. Three movies I've yet to see brought up, and are at least honorable, Snatch and City of God. Added a fourth honorable mention Lair Geek. Don't look up. This movie with DiCaprio shows pretty well that the people doesn't want to see what's going on in the real world at all. Everyone is on their phones, listening to government propaganda. When the real problem gets worse. Of course, everything is exaggerated there. But everything is there, I think that we need to change something. Macron su Macron. Hacks or Ridge. This movie means so much to me it's insane, I love this movie with all my being. A big part of it is Christianity, and I am not Christian. I'm actually kinda against it, but this movie makes me feel so empowered. Give me faith and helps me believe. Please do not reply with a bunch of Christian stuff. I don't believe in God and Edric. When an investigative reporter travels to Los Angeles to write an acrid piece about the fitness craze that took hold of the metropolis during the 80s, he meets an attractive fitness instructor, and the two fall in love. Suddenly, the reporter wonders if he still write the article and be in love at the same time. The Dark Knight. I don't think I will ever see a better superhero movie than that. TDK is so complex and transcendent, it's a movie that aged like fine wine. Ledger's posthumous performance was legendary. Truly the defining superhero movie of this generation a masterpiece. Doctor Strangelove is possibly the best political farce ever written. If it wasn't black and white you might assume it was filmed today the lighting and framing is just that good. It's weird to watch a movie that's 50 years old but the cinematography feels totally current. The Demolition Man. It's the perfect combo of serious enough, with a message, kind of visionary when it came to predicting the future but also just a ridiculously silly over-the-top Stallone movie. Plus it's endlessly quotable, and the reason my toilet has three seashells. Master and Commander. Top tier realistic naval battle scenes. Compare Pirates of the Caribbean they're gaining on us then cut to battle. In Master and Commander they see the enemy is on their tail and they have time to teach navigation to midshipmen. The Big Lebowski. Recently went to an event at a local theater that was also a costume contest. I was amazed during the screening how an audience that knows the movie line for line is still laughing out loud the whole time. Jurassic Park 1993. Alien 1979. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Shrek 2. Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. Into and Across the Spider-Verse. Aniara. Ratatouille. Nimona. My friend tries to nitpick every small detail about it but it's not perfect because of the story, or the art, or the characters, no, it's perfect for the analogy and it always will have a special place in my heart. Forrest Gump. As a movie it makes you feel a cocktail of different emotions all over a couple of hours. Not to mention it draws a parallel with events that transpired with reality to make it more relatable. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Scarface. The Green Mile. The Shawshank Redemption. The Godfather. Mulholland Drive. Forrest Gump. Apocalypse Now, I could go on. But Ops said movie so I'm just getting greedy. Hacksaw Ridge. 
Lord, please help me get one more truly moving sentence. If a man can risk his life in the war zone and save 75 men from death, so many more things should be achievable. Moving film, it's not my favorite, but I still love the look and pace of Lost in Translation. I just think it's a beautiful film as a whole. And I wasn't upset about not getting closure at the end. Robocop, The Blues Brothers, The Warriors, The Godfather, Goodfellas, E.T., Schindler's List, The Thing, Amadeus, The Shining. I could go on but these are the first that come to mind. James and the Giant Peach, I was 6 years old and in foster care when I seen this for the first time. I don't think a single other movie has stuck with me as much as this. The Matrix but with two exceptions. It's unlikely that they'll be using BTUs as an energy unit I'm more of a kilowatt fan and the exorbitant use of cathode ray tube displays. The usual suspects. The story is so well told and at the end all you really know is people died and are unsure how much of that you watched was actually any part of the truth. Entire Lord of the Rings virtually any animated classic Disney fails miserably at turning into live action remakes for modern audiences which is all. 1989 Batman. It was a product of its time, but it did the job, and did so amazingly. Runner up is Ghostbusters 1984. Mainly because I'm more of a DC nerd. Whiplash. Every scene is important and it sets out what it wants to do with flying colors. Can't think of a single genuine flaw in that film, it's so great. Heat. It's the only movie where I can believe each character is real. And the cinema photography. It's just such an intense and beautiful movie. Tree of Life. I watched it again for the first time in years recently and it was better than I remembered it. It felt realer than real, at times. Casablanca. If you haven't watched it before, Keep in mind that the Nazis could have very much won the war at the point the movie was released. Portrait of a Lady on Fire After finishing it for the first time I had to sit and just breathe deeply for about 15 minutes. Beautiful film. Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl It is the only movie that I can't criticize in any way, no matter how hard I try. Three Idiots would always be perfect for me. It was such a ride when I first watched it. It's a movie I watch at least once a year. Hal's Moving Castle I adore the setting, style, music, and overall themes of the movie, plus Christian Bale is always a win. Aliens. Love the first one, don't get me wrong, but Aliens is my favorite. Jurassic Park. The Mummy. Josie and the Pussycats. Back to the Future. 12 Angry Men the original from 1957. I think both of those movies are perfect, in my opinion. I say collateral. Because every time I scroll through my list and see the movie, yeah I'm like damn that was a great movie. Spider-Man ATSV. The editing, the story, the plot twist and the ending. I just pray they don't disappoint in BTSV. Sling Blade. I just watched it last night and holy shit, I can't think of a single flaw in that film. So damn good. Shortcuts by Altman. Not only does it have an array of amazing actors, it just flows and you don't want it to end. Unpopular opinion but I fucking love The Last of the Mohicans. There is no weak link in their cast of writing emo. The Thing 1982, along with The Warriors 1979. The original Saw movie is almost at that level for me as well. There are a few movies that I consider perfect. Dazed and Confused. American Graffiti. Titanic. Midsommar. Moulin Rouge. A Few Good Men. Molly's Game. Slumdog Millionaire. The Great Gatsby, Romeo and Juliet Leo, Gone in 60 Seconds, the Nick Cage version. The Rock is also a, know what, face off as well, why not? Into the Spider-Verse. Everything is perfect, the humor, the action, the emotion, the story, the soundtrack. Princess Mona and OK. Gorgeous animation with a human versus nature plot that Disney couldn't touch if they tried. Many have said some of my perfect score ones like The Thing, Alien or Jaws. I'll just throw in Porco Rosso. The Matrix just the first one. I can't think of anything to add or remove to it it's perfect as it is. Master and Commander. X200B. For what it is, it is incredibly immersive and the effects are great. If you don't mind a western, Silverado. One of the best casts ever assembled before most were stars. Shashank Redemption, October Sky, Saving Private Ryan, and there are more but I'm too tired to think lol. A Knight's Tale. I've seen this dozens of times and it is fantastic each and every single time. Oppenheimer I have watched it a few weeks back and I was amazed. The best movie I have ever seen. Two Towers and Return of the King? I would say Fellowship of the Ring but they took out Bombadil. Blade Runner 2049. Even despite being a perfect sequel, 
It's a rock solid film by its own right. The Princess Bride. It's such a good movie. I could watch it again as soon as the credits roll. The Emperor's New Groove. I wouldn't change one line of dialogue, nor a single casting choice. Fight Club. Honestly, if a ton of incels don't get the satire, the movie kind of did its job. Wally. Gangster's Paradise Jerusalem This is a perfect local movie from South Africa. Fanny and Alexander Dersa Uzzel of the third man my neighbor Totoro the Hudsucker Proxy. Hal's Moving Castle. Only watched it for the first time in the last couple of years. Seeking a friend for the end of the world. Stranger than fiction. Better off dead. I've seen people name more than one, so mine are fiddler on the roof and surfs up. The Prestige. There isn't any aspect of this movie that isn't top tier perfection. Goodfellas. The cast, the pacing, story, soundtrack. It really does have it all. The entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. Perfection personified even to this day. As a Disney princess movie, Tangled. It just had the right dose of everything. I will say The Crow, Rocky Horror, Men in Black 1 3, any Tim Burton film, etc. Not a movie, but The Haunting of Hill House's first season is just perfection. Paddington 2. Cried the whole way through, it made me want to be a better man. I saw The Devil, the best revenge movie I've ever seen. Absolutely perfect. The Lord of the Rings, any one of the three. Greatest films I've watched. Shawshank Redemption stands out as a truly perfect movie in my opinion. Lord of the Rings Trilogy. Ken and will watch those at least once a year. Blade Runner 2049 is an absolute masterpiece. I will die on this hill.